The coronavirus has now killed at least 135,000 people in the United States. The number of cases since the pandemic hit is approaching 3.3 million. As CBS 2's Tom Hansen tells us, one Sunbelt state has set a disheartening new record. Florida shattered a nationwide record for the number of new coronavirus cases in one day. More than 15,000 were confirmed Saturday, almost 4,000 more than the state's record last week. Look, I think things are going to get worse before they get better. Former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb says there are indications the Sun Belt's current surge will peak in the next two or three weeks, but calls an extended plateau of cases likely. Our recommendations have changed. Okay. Now, people of America, important to know you should wear a face covering. As governors across the country, Country mandate wearing masks in public, U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams defended guidance he and federal health officials gave earlier in the pandemic against face coverings. It's important for people to understand that once upon a time we prescribed cigarettes for asthmatics and leeches and cocaine and heroin for people as medical treatments. When we learn better, we do better. Florida, Texas, Arizona, and California combined have close to a million confirmed cases. The Trump administration continues to push for schools to reopen in the fall. Fully operational and fully uh, functioning means that kids can be back there. And if for families that need their kids in school in person five days a week, that has to be an option. But some parents and educators are concerned. It's a little worried some because we're unaware of the school, the environment, and we want to make sure that he's safe. How do you do six feet uh, social distancing? How do you do that in passing periods where you have kids going to different classrooms? Last week, New York City announced plans to have its more than a million students in the classroom only one to three days a week. Tom Hansen, CBS News, New York. Until now, New York held the previous one day record of more than 12,000 confirmed cases. That was set in April when it was the nation's hardest hit state.